welcome back to the Smart Tank Revolution, where we always kick out at two. I am your host, the benevolent, intelligent, excellent, and eloquent Mr. Donnie Wonderful, flying solo here today, reviewing Night of Champions. Whoops. <laughs> As you can probably hear, this is completely live, unedited, and uncut, and I'm over here dropping shit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, my astute colleague, Mr. Joey Business, is traveling to upstate New York, safe travels, and um, I want to get a chance to get some fresh thoughts out the way. So normally, uh, when it's us two, uh, we'll, well, for the last pay-per-view or premium show, Joey and I, uh, we stream the whole entire thing, so you got a chance to hear our live reactions as they were happening. This time, I wanted to do this a little different. So, they're going to be, it's, it's going to return to the old format, so to speak, to um, where you're going to get multiple videos, <clears throat> but I'm going to review them immediately after. So, Right now, as I'm watching in real time, they're queuing up the video package for Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar. That's match number two. But I want to talk about Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles, who I will get the rating out the way. And our bipolar rating scale is amazing. One count, two count, three counts, disqualifications, everything. Two and a half. But sometimes we may go King Kong Bundy five count if we really, really, really love this this um the match i think this a, a seth rollins and aj styles are a great pair um i i liked everything about this match except for the dreaded uh apron spot i can't stand that i think we're just one catastrophic injury from banning that and i hope it gets casted away off in an island i think that should be saved for one person who can work it the safest uh, kind of like what they did with the uh, with the pile driver, you know, just, you know, so let 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 Jerry Lawler do that. But nevertheless, uh, Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles, I gave this a three count, but I gave it a three count with criticisms and not criticisms on them. I felt that this should have been the main event, should have been the last match on the card. I felt like it, it didn't feel like a major win, and it was kind of um, anticlimactic because this is how you end the show. And I feel as if it's getting already the universal title treatment, um, where where it feels more so like 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 an like an underling belt again, because it need it needed to be and and featured in a prominent spot on the card or. Tonight should have been, at Night of Champions, should have been the finals to determine uh, um, who's going to wrestle for the, for, the, for the World Heavyweight title on Raw at the end. You know, of course, at, at, at the, at the, um, on the main event of Raw. Because this needed that prominent spot. This damn thing went on first. Let me ask you guys a question. All right? WrestleMania Four was the big tournament for the WWF. World Heavyweight, uh, the WWF Heavyweight Championship, right? Imagine, just imagine if they if they did all of that on Superstars and Wrestling's Challenge, because there was no Raw or SmackDown back then. Imagine if they did all that on their shows, Primetime, whatever. You know, Saturday night's main event, doesn't matter. And then they roll into a pay-per-view, any pay-per-view. Okay, WrestleMania, whatever. They roll into one of their big four or five, four at the time, and they had that match first. <laughs> they had the match first. There are other matches that are going to happen tonight. There are other title matches that are going to happen tonight. I mean, gosh, uh, Gunther and, and Mustafa Ali should have been first if that's what you're going to do. You know, like, uh, you needed to give this match its proper respects and elevate this new looking title this elevate this new addition to the wrestling family give it its prestige spots i mean hell roman's not defending his undisputed championships 
This should have been after that. If Roman still gets the top spot tonight, then he's clearly the champion that we should all be paying attention to. That's all I'm saying. Who's coming to the ring right now? Is that real? Oh, somebody's coming to the ring. Right now. Oh, Trish Stratus. All right, listen. I am going to wrap this up really quick now. Like I said, we're, I'm recording off the cuff, and as the show is going on, Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles had some great spots in it. Um, reversed, uh, no, not not the reverse. I forgot what it was. Uh, it, it was a move off the rope. Did you guys see the ref how he moved uh, Seth Rollins' shoulder on the mat so he so, so he could start pin so he could start the count? I thought that was hilarious. By the way, refs get the hell out of the way. Just referee what's going on in the ring, police the action. And don't put your hands on the superstars. I mean, that's just me being a little um, uh, obsessive compulsive about it. But uh, but no, no, the match was great. Um, they got. I don't know what the, the final time was. Uh, I remember looking up, and it was it was one thirty three p.m. And you know these guys are still going. So this just goes to show: whenever you give great workers enough time, they can paint a great uh, uh, picture that's even better and looking than the Mona Lisa. Uh, three count, but I really wish that they would have saved this for last. That's my critique. You guys let me know what you think.